coming up on today's show, an autumnal delight served up by the Dallas Arboretum. We also have tour time in Aspen, and we check in with Gary Riggs, the Hills of Kingswood, Bella Custom Homes, Hannah Azul, Bruce Russo, and we go into the Craddock Kitchen with Caroline. Phew! Designing Texas starts now. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jocelyn White, and welcome to Designing Texas at the Dallas Arboretum. And this is where we're following the Yellow Brick Road into Oz. The pumpkin patch this year is the wonderful Wizard of Oz's home, and Tom Thumb is bringing us the pumpkin patch with some 90,000 pumpkins, gourds, and squash. Oh my. Up to 275,000 folks visit Autumn at the Arboretum every year, plus a new garden is now officially open. Here's Dave Fordhand. Jocelyn, we're in our new A Tasteful Place garden. This is the newest addition to the Dallas Arboretum. We'll open very soon. We're in final preparations. People are doing final touches here, getting ready. Uh, not only is it a new garden where we're going to display food and herbs, we also have a cooking pavilion where we'll do cooking demonstrations. It's going to be fantastic. We can't wait to introduce the city of Dallas to this newest garden at the Arboretum. This fall festival runs through November 22nd. This is one of my favorite times of the year, and this is one of my favorite places. Today's show is a favorite as well as we kick off with a trip to Aspen. This was Peggy and Leonard Riggs, longtime Dallas friends, who've had homes in lots of places around the USA, but this is one of their and my favorites. It's tour time. We um, found this house. It's actually a house that we love when we bought the other one, but the couple that lived here, were they were not interested in selling at the time. And a couple of years later, our real estate friend was driving by and saw him hammering a uh, for sale by owner sign out. So he called us and that was in March, about four years ago. And and we came the next, next week and looked at it and loved it and moved in. Moved in, but it still wasn't quite what Peggy and husband Leonard had in mind. It needed a few changes for us. Um, this room that we're in right now was actually two rooms. Uh, there was an office in half of it, and the living room was over here. So for us, it just didn't work well because the flow wasn't good for entertaining or for um, having people over. The architectural changes also included changing the foyer and the staircase to make them more user-friendly. Many of the furnishings came from a lake house they sold prior to closing on this property. They've also filled it with eclectic pieces the homeowners love. My husband collected Asian oriental screens and we've got three of them in this house. They're, they're great big wall fillers, so I had to use the walls that would accommodate them. You've done a great job of mixing styles and colors and, and making them true to this sort of house, but yet true to yourself too, where you got to keep the things you love. What's your favorite time of the year to be here? We love being here in the summertime. I mean, it's nice to come and the kids like to ski and snowboard, but we enjoy being here really in the summertime the most, just to escape the Texas heat and, and, and to enjoy the flowers and the, the no bugs. You do have a great yard. Let's not forget about your great outside space, which you do get to use quite often. We do, we do. If it's not raining, um, it's, it's great to be in the yard. We actually love our side yard, which in the morning gets great sun and we have umbrellas out there. So it's a great place to read the newspaper and have a cup of coffee. It's all here for Peggy and husband Leonard, and they have no plans to make a change. I think we are so blessed to, to be in a little area like this that uh, is safe and um, wonderful restaurants. We love to go to the restaurants here, so I don't have the pressure of cooking like I do the rest of the year, <laughs> which is really a nice treat for me. You have had other homes, and you've had your lake house, you know, and homes in other places. What do you foresee in the future? Will you stay here? I think Aspen's here for a long time, yeah. I just love Peggy and Leonard Riggs. I also love our next interviewee, Gary Riggs. No relation, but Gary, of course, is our designing Texan. And today, he introduces us to a project that will be ongoing for the next couple of months. Here's Gary.
Today we thought what would be fun would be to take a look at a unit that's being worked on that we're going to be installing in just a short period of time, give you kind of a preview and a before, and then be able to come back in a couple of months and show you the after. These are previous clients, and this unit is twice as big as what they had before, so we're going to be bringing what they had up into the unit, and then we're also going to be filling in and doing some new things here. I can't wait for you to see kind of what we have going on here, but this is going to be a big surprise. Then as we go back through here, we're going to go down the hallway. On the left, we've got a guest bedroom that's going to be nice. We're using a lot of new things in this room. And then we've got the study on this side, which is also going to be mostly new. Uh, then we're going to come on down the hallway here. We've got niches to fill, beautiful long console that's going to fit in here. Now as we're coming into this space, you hear a lot of things going on and it's because the deadlines are approaching and everything's got to be finished up. This has brought us into the big living room area here, which is going to be really nice. There's a bar area that was here and what we've done is we've expanded a little bit, added a wall and created some more cabinetry to give more storage. From here, let's go over into what's going to be called the library. The color palette in the house is very soft and kind of that way throughout. But coming into this library area here, the colors are all going to change. We're going to go into deeper, richer tones of the same kind of palette. So it's going to make this room feel a little bit cozier. And we'll have a cabinet here that will be full of books and just give you a little bit of that feeling of library. The master bedroom area here is what's incredible. There's so much window and so much light that it's really going to be nice. We're going to have space in here to be able to have a sitting area as well as the king size bed and really give them kind of a comfortable refuge if they wanted just to kind of get away. This master bathroom really is kind of self-explanatory. There's some beautiful, beautiful marble in here, veining that's kind of carrying the molding colors that are kind of throughout the house. But there's a wallpaper that's coming in here that's gonna be so incredible with that icy blue background with this leaf shapes that are in an ivory. We hope that you've really enjoyed kind of seeing a little bit of a preview. You know it's been noisy and there's a lot of things going on here, but we look forward to being able to show you kind of the finished product in a couple of months. That console is gonna be so incredible on that wall there. This is gonna really be nice. Still to come on today's show, Bruce Russo, Hannah Azul, and of course, Bella Custom Homes, along with an introduction to Caroline Craddock. Hills of Kingswood is next. The term facial rejuvenation, I think, refers to a whole spectrum of procedures and services and options that we can present to our patients when they want to re refresh their face, refresh their appearance. Well, and that's what I like about us is that we're a team. And so if there's something that I feel like I can't fix that, you know, he's going to be better you know, at, at doing the surgery and he'll be like, you know, I'll come do that with him. You know, I, you can have a facelift and you're going to look better. I'm not going to do filler on someone who has, you know, jowling down here and they're like, can you put filler here? No. Hey everybody, I'm Jocelyn White with John Zazelka and we're at home here in the hills of Kingswood where the weather is kind of being Octoberish a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yes, Jocelyn, and we're so looking forward to the rest of October because our trees are starting to turn and we're surrounded by natural forests and some beautiful terrain that is going to be spectacular at about end of this month towards November, the middle of November. So we're tickled pink to be here today. We're standing in the Ron Davis home, the Ron Davis custom home that's on Lilac Lane. Well, Ron Davis has been preparing this lovely home for a long time. He's taken the care that a custom builder should take. And Ron Davis Custom Homes is superb. And this home is just about finished. So we're gonna have a big show here over the next whoo, four to five weeks and looking forward to it. And I want you to hear from Ron himself. Well, thank you guys. It's great to be here. Our show home is coming together. It's been a long journey getting through everything, but it's exciting and it's well worth it. The home has turned out beautifully. And now we're just down to our final punch and our final little fine tuning. We're walking around, change this, tweak that, touch this up and make it just right. 
We also have our grand opening coming up on October 15th at our show home. We're excited about it. It'll be in the Dallas Morning News. It can't wait. And the Ron Davis Custom Show Home will be available for the public consumption sometime in November, December, and we look forward to that. Speaking of looking forward to things, today John wraps up the series that he's been doing on what actually is happening here at the Hills of Kingswood and how it came about. Today, though, he's talking Frisco as well as the Hills of Kingswood, and we catch up with John as he visited with former mayor, Mayor Masso. Frisco right now is the fastest growing city in North America. So uh, we've got billions of dollars, literally, probably somewhere between 11 and 15 billion right now uh, being created between the, the Dallas Cowboys headquarters and all of that corridor around Warren and uh, Lebanon and the Parkway and North. And of course, City Hall is just north of us at, uh, and that's been booming. Well, you know, Frisco is still one of the fast growing cities in the U.S. We're over 150,000 in population, uh, but we're all, our build out is estimated to be about 375,000. So, still have a long ways to go. We know the direction we're going in. It's a very master plan community. Wonderful jobs and public safety. Uh, people will not move in the area that's not safe. Frisco is a very safe community. And the Hills of Kingswood fits right in with that. It is the last approved master planned gated community within the Frisco city limits. We have the only piece of land that is a gated community. We're about to go to 24 hour security, uh, which our people appreciate. And uh, so we're, we're thrilled to provide something that nobody else has. This is a very different kind of master planned community. We really feel like we want to create uh, a atmosphere of open space. So we have uh, trails and we'll end up having close to four miles of trails uh, that run along uh, our own park. Uh, if you feel like uh, you want to walk the backwoods, uh, we have backwoods. If you feel like you want to walk a manicured trail, we have a manicured trail. There is no need for a community center or big pool facility with the privacy and space and personal backyards and everything imaginable outside the hill's gates. And we're surrounded by these wonderful facilities, so why would we as a development spend your money as a homeowner to create facilities you have within five minutes of home that are world class? They're not, they're not the kind of facilities that, that anybody else has, so we're encouraging people to really do their own thing. Frisco wouldn't be here without a handful of very influential folks, like former mayor and Frisco icon, Bob Warren. Bargaining and, uh, and partnership have been much of Frisco's success. Mm -hmm. We found that uh, things that we can't do as a, as a city, but can be done as a, a, with a partnership. Mm -hmm. The pivotal point of growth here really came to a head with the developers who were building in and bringing Stonebriar Mall and then the transportation solution that became known as the Dallas North Tollway. We bargained with the uh, Toll Road Authority to get the, uh, the access road first from 121 to 380. Later, we bargained with them again. It was a city and the county and, uh, and the Toll Road Authority that got the toll road extended piece by piece. Bob has had a parkway named after him, a sporting complex, a city park, even a clock, but his personal favorite. And one of the greatest things is a hamburger at Scotty P's. That, uh, <laughs> and what number is that? Number seven on the menu, uh, Warren Burger. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> he is a piece of work. <laughs> yes, he is, Jocelyn. And you know you made it here in Frisco. You get a burger named after you. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Jones, that's when you've made it, too. Yes. <laughs> Listen, we're really excited about next month, so thanks for joining us today, and we hope you will again when the show home opens, and we'll see you then. I'm Jocelyn White with John Zazelka. We're at home here in the hills of Kingswood, and we hope you will be, too. Sharon Webb is our go-to gal in the hills of Kingswood, so stop by, get a personal tour of our community, and let Sharon introduce you to the spectacular home sites we have available. 
you too can be at home in the hills of Kingswood. Give her a call to set up your appointment. I'm Tony Visconti with Bella Custom Homes. I've been building luxury custom homes in the Metroplex for over the past 25 years. Build the Suits is what we specialize in. The same quality and craftsmanship goes into each and every house we build regardless of the size or the price. And here's one of our longtime vendors. We were looking for a realtor back in 2010 to represent Bella Custom Homes. After a couple of quick meetings with Mark Kane, it became very apparent he was the man to represent Bella Custom Homes in Preston Hollow. I always knew that I wanted to be in residential real estate. Never did I imagine that I would be able to, on a regular basis, represent super luxury properties such as this and have the opportunity to work with people like the builder, Tony Visconti, the vice president and chief designer, Stacy Broatmarkle, and others on the team that make this whole process worthwhile, fun, and we build a magnificent product and have a good time while we market and sell the properties and take care of our clients along the way and after the sale. 4926 Deloche Avenue is priced at $14.5 million and offers 14,000 square feet of air-conditioned living space with nearly 18,000 square feet under roof. Compared to other homes that are in the market right now in this super luxury price point, it is hands down the highest quality and best, most comfortable home on the market. That works very well with my style of selling homes as well. I don't like to get too serious. Um, I don't like to get too heavy. Everyone who comes to visit the house, I want to make it a positive and rewarding experience for them. I want them to feel at home. I don't want them to feel pressured at all. Buying a home is a huge decision. I want buyers to feel like they're making the right decision and with Tony Visconti's product, I can always feel confident that they will be. Always interesting information and the next guy we've got coming up has interesting information too. Today we thank DFW Thermal and their encapsulation for insulation process part two with Bruce Russo. It's time for Build It With Bruce. I'm Bruce Russo of Build It With Bruce. Today we are at the Dallas Cowboys headquarters. One of the projects I've created out here is the D. Lincoln Prime Steak. What we have in front of me is a piece of the column. There'll be three of them total in the restaurant. Absolutely amazing and it's gonna be beautiful when it's done. We're here today to talk about phase two of the home insulation process. We've taken out the old insulation. We're getting prepared to seal up everything and spray the foam. Right now we're gonna to talk to Chris Swansea at DSW Thermal. Tell us a little bit more about the spray foam process. After all these years, spray foam is still cutting edge technology. A lot of people feel intimidated by the cost and the commitment of using spray foam insulation in their houses. Without knowing the benefits that spray foam insulation can provide for their home and family, the option can be easily overlooked. Spray foam is made up of two composite materials. When these two materials are combined, the makeup of the two will expand and harden as a foam product. Spray foam insulation has a lot of benefits. It's a power insulator. The use of spray foam can highly reduce efficiency costs for a home. One of the most important things is spray foam insulation is an air seal. Fibers products allow air movement. With air movement, you have tremendous energy loss. Fibers products work like a filter and air can freely move through them. Foam insulation seals the air you're paying for within the envelope of your home. You wouldn't think spray foam is a mold deterrent, but it is. It is composed of an inert polymer that provides no food source for mold. Spray foam is a lifetime product. The polymer within the foam allows it to have an indefinite lifespan. Being designed to last indefinitely, spray foam is considered eco-friendly because it helps save energy consumption and create a green household. On any given day, we could be on a 1,200 square foot remodel, a 10,000 square foot custom home, or a million plus square foot commercial project. 
Regardless, spray foam insulation has a benefit to all of them. I'm very interested in watching this process develop and I'm really looking forward to you doing something here at the restaurant for me. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Okay, this is one piece of about 700 pieces that will create the columns here at the D. Lincoln Prime Restaurant. On our next show, we're gonna meet Dwayne Hindman and he's gonna do an exclusion of the entire house and show us how he eliminates bugs, termites, and rodents from getting inside the house. Designing Texas is more than just about homes and gardens. It's also about designing our lives. And up next is Hannah Azul, who is taking care of everything to do with the skin, including mine. The next step in our anti-aging skin therapy is the mask. And the reason people love to get it done is they want to detoxify and have that renewed youthful look. It's got volcanic ash from Korea, which helps to detoxify and pull any impurities out of the skin. And it's also got vitamin C, which will help to do the anti-aging process. I heard about Hannah Soul through a mutual friend. Uh, today I received the Coco V Lift Mask. We start with the face wash with their Sovis 5 cleaner and then they do a peel and then they applied the Coco V Lift Mask which felt incredible and my face feels nice and tight afterward. And then um, once they wash it off they apply the toner and a recovery cream and then a beautiful smelling lavender sunscreen afterward and my face feels very clean it feels like there's a little more tension it feels vibrant or it looks vibrant and and it feels great at Hannah Isol we believe in the natural beauty and we're here to help you feel good and be confident without having to wear makeup every day just to show that beautiful youthful glow after the Coco V lift and the face wash and, and the services that go along with um, this appointment, my skin feels lifted, it feels tighter, it feels very clean to the touch, um, and it just feels really refreshed and rejuvenated. Our Hannah Easel products are more than just skin deep, and we believe that if you look good, you'll feel good about yourself. Your skin is just as important as your internal health, so I would, I'd recommend people to take care of, of their outside appearance as much as they take care of their inside as well. Well, that was step three in the process of gaining a youthful glow, and step four will be coming up next month. This is all thanks to the patented Sovis 5 products. They really are something special. And talking about something special, this is a girl I've known since she was a little bitty kid and she used to be on the radio with her dad and me. The late kid Craddock adored his daughter Caroline and now we go into the kitchen with Caroline on Designing Texas. Hi, I'm Caroline Craddock and welcome to the Craddock Kitchen and today we're making something really fun. I am on something called the keto diet, which is high fat and low carb. So when I was trying to make um, an idea for today, I wanted to make something that I'm actually eating. I wasn't gonna make something that I'm not eating. So today we're gonna make a beautiful filet mignon, which is my favorite thing to make with a delicious Roquefort sauce. And then my bestie, Uno, over here is gonna make a mashed cauliflower. Yeah. So we don't even need to do mashed potatoes because she's gonna do a loaded cauliflower mash. Absolutely, so you're not gonna miss that you don't have Potatoes, potatoes in your diet. with your steak. Yeah. Yeah. So I got a whole head of cauliflower. I kind of chopped it up. I'm using stems and all. Boiling water, salted. You want that. We're just going to put it in here until it's nice and tender. That's going to take about four to five minutes. Strain it out, and then we're going to puree it like it's a mashed potato. Yum. Yeah. I had some bacon that I fried off in here, and I reserved the bacon fat. I took a whole stick of the um, Kerrygold butter okay. and cut it up room temperature, so you just kind of kind of mash it up a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to pour some of this, all of this, reserved bacon fat on top of that. That's probably gonna make it easier when I put this warm butter on top. The <laughs> biggest part of this diet is getting over the fact that you're allowed to eat fat because we're so conditioned to think that fat is bad for you. You know, I read up on the keto diet because I was curious about it because I was thinking high fat, 
no carbs, how does that work? Yeah. But what you do is you deprive your body of the carbohydrates, and so therefore, you have to produce uh, ketones, whatever that yep. is, and, yep. that, and that's burning fat from your liver. So exactly. that's why this diet works. The cast iron skillet is your best friend. If it's not your best friend already, it will be. You can literally do anything in this. This thing will last you years and years if you take good care of it. Yeah. The really important thing with your steak is to make sure it's super dry. So you want to leave this out probably like an hour before you start cooking and um, wrap it in some paper towels because the more moisture that's in there, the less it's going to sear. So you want it to be super dry. So when you sear it, get that really yummy, crunchy edges on it. So that's, that's our trick. And the great thing about the steak is it's going to tell us when it's done because you don't have to put any kind of oil in there because once it cooks, It'll create that crust on the bottom so you can easily flip it over and you'll see the caramelization from the salt and the pepper and just the high heat on here. So you want to do like two minutes on each side. But it's so thick, it's not going to be done yet. No, I know, because we're going to do the rest of it in the oven. Mm, nope, needs a couple more minutes. So this is uh, my Roquefort sauce. So I just did a cup of heavy cream and then probably like two tablespoons of Kerrygold butter. So I'm gonna let that really meld and then at the end I'm gonna dump the blue cheese in there and then put some chives on it and it's so delicious and savory. That texture looks so good. It's like you don't even need mashed potatoes. And then the secret to this is nutmeg. Love that. So I roasted this cabbage for texture. And we're just gonna fold this in. Like I said, this is a two-in-one dish where if you wanted to, you could just eat the cabbage by itself. So I'm just gonna mix this together and then I'm gonna plate it up for you. Do you want some butter on here? Do I want some good <laughs> butter on here? Yeah. The Pope of Catholic. It's kind of same ingredients the, and everything. The best diet ever. I know. I can't wait to try your mash. Thank you. I can't wait to try this. <laughs> Uno made cauliflower mash, loaded obviously, with bacon butter. We be cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> so on Tuesday, October 17th, we were having Kids Kids Day, which is the one day a year that we spend raising money for our Kids Kids trip, which is November 16th. You can go to our website, kidskids.com, and you can donate there so we can continue sending children with life-threatening and life-altering conditions to Disney World every year. That really was delish, so I can't wait to see what's cooking in the Craddock Kitchen next month. And as for this month, well, of course, following the Yellow Brick Road to Oz, home is where there is no place like home. There is no place like home.